Ha ha! Using the good camera for the first time in this year. Uh, so yeah, Glass House Films Midnight Review of... Uh... Re replicas? Replicas. Replicas, okay. We saw a trailer for once several months ago and then never heard anything. Yeah, I tried look again. I tried looking it up and I'm like, I could swear I was seeing trailers for this in like mid to late summer last year and then just nothing in the last couple weeks it's been like, oh here's a trailer for replicas, it's coming out I guess. I, I haven't so, seen that. I literally haven't seen that. Transcendence part two. No, not at all. <laughs> Um, no, it's, uh, I don't know, and the other thing is, is when it was, when I remember seeing the original trailer for this, and when it was shown, it was more like a horror movie, and it's like, what is, what has Keanu Reeves been brewing up, and it's like, in this, I mean, the latest trailer is like, he's been brewing up his family, because they died tragically, so he's the hero, and it's like, <laughs> wait a minute, what? This is... This is very different. This is a surprise alchemy story. Um, this is also a movie that's being released in January, so, uh... It's shit. Gonna be great. <laughs> shit. It's gonna be great. I just... It, it could be, like, a hidden gem, you know? We well, know. here's the thing, is the escape room ended up being something that I kind of liked. And I'm like, oh no, that's, that's the one. That's the one you get in January. Like last year, it was uh, the Death Cure. The Death Cure was like, all right, that was awesome. And then, it, you know, it's flanked by Proud Mary and Winchester. So. Hey, Winchester. <laughs> I mean, Winchester we, starring the most favorite, boring my man. Patrick Wilson movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go back to our Winchester review for that joke. I don't um, think it can get much worse than Sherlock. So oh, probably the clear. Oh, I would take Sherlock and I almost called it Sherlock and Holmes again. Uh, Holmes <laughs> and Watson. And I'll take I'll take Holmes and Watson over uh, uh, Winchester or Proud Mary. And that's the thing that is sense. last year 20, was Winchester and Proud Mary. 2018 was sandwiched by two really bad movies. Like I think the worst movie we saw was Proud Mary, and the second worst was Holmes and Watson. I, mm. Third one was that uh, that fucking flying spinach movie. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, Wrinkle in Time. Charles Wallace! Yeah, Wrinkle in Time. <laughs> Might as well have been called Charles Wallace! <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I, well, I would, the only, the only point which I would disagree on is, um, is that I saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And that movie was not great. So... Replicas, Keanu Reeves rebuilds his family after they all after they die in a tragic car accident. And then he did it illegally, so he has to like fight to get his family back. So alright, whatever. This is Who knows? This is something. Let's do it. Let's, let's, do it. let's I like Keanu Reeves. Yeah! Yeah! Let's, let's see how do far this. that carries me. Woo! <laughs> back from that, uh it wasn't boring. I it, actually thought it was pretty boring up until about halfway through. Boot the um, map sequence. It wasn't... Up until the point where the movie hit a hundred fucking percent. <laughs> out of nowhere. This is like... This is like fucking... Uh, what was that movie we saw? Horse People. Sorry to bother you? This is like sorry to bother you levels of 0 to 100. Oh. Um, uh, so this film is definitely a bit wackadoo. Uh, that, is, that is a certifiable fact. Um, okay. I have, to, I have to wonder. So Keanu Reeves is... A very rich man. The the Matrix movies, on top of all the other hits he's ever made, he's Grand a rich Joker's man. He Dracula, doesn't, yeah. yeah, he doesn't actually need to work ever again. So at this point, he's just doing it because he likes doing it, right? Because normally I would think, okay, someone had to pay off some some IRS bills. Yeah, like a Nicolas someone Cage wanted another boat. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's uh, the Nicolas Cage thing. Yeah, but. 
I can't figure it out because that's not. I don't think that's the case. Why did they like pick Keanu Reeves? He's for just this like sci fi. Okay, yeah, he likes sci-fi. I mean, it would be crazy if uh, someone slid him the the script for this, and he opens the first page, he's like, manipulates technology like Johnny Mnemonic, and he's like, sold. <laughs> There's, yeah. I, I mean, know, I, I, I feel like he has to owe someone a favor. Yeah, like, I don't know who who's like, you know who needs to play this just fucking impeccable, kind of neurotic, maybe a little bit insane genius. Fuck him, dude. Keanu Reeves. That's the I mean, first guy that comes to mind. Yeah. I, was... I think Liam Neeson would have been more, like, suited to this if we're going for, like, you know, weird action stars playing, you know, <coughs> characters that are just completely different. Yeah. I'd take Liam Neeson with some glasses, you know? <laughs> well, the thing is, is this is the first time Keanu Reeves has played a genius yeah. doing, like, scientific breakthroughs so I oddly enough uh, typecast yeah I don't um okay how many single piano notes can they play at like really dramatic times <sighs> all of them the whole uh, keyboard just okay so he hate fucking keys all of them were hit the the long the long and short of it is that uh Keanu Reeves has been trying to transfer consciousness from a deceased person into a machine Hasn't been working. He goes on vacation. His family is killed in a car accident. He's like, damn, good thing I've been working on this thing, though. And he convinces Thomas Middleditch to help him clone his family and put their consciousness into his family. And into the clones. hijinks ensue. And a lot of hijinks ensue. Yeah, the first, like... Most God, of which, like, most don't of the pay film. off at all, really. Yeah, like, yeah. as you said... Consequence free. This is a consequence free well, zero payoff movie. Which is really weird. It's I don't like. I know if that's the case though. So, because the first half of the movie is like that uh, one episode of uh, the alchemy anime show, Full Metal Alchemist. Remember where they, like, the, the scientist turns the dog daughter thing? It's like the first part has a lot of consequences that he has to deal with. Not, and then the, the second half know. is just like a basic William Eason film. I mean, he just doesn't like <laughs> Not nothing no, really. Like nothing happens. Yeah, the thing is, is okay. So know, it's, it's it's this. He keep, he keeps building this house of cards with every successive lie. He's like, oh, I There's I, I capped a lie. Now we have to build even more on top of it. He keeps stacking up and, they and make, stacking they up. They make a big point of it in the movie too, like. You know, it takes time to make the clones, and he has to yeah. pull the kids out of you know, pull the kids out of school. Wife yeah. has to quit the job. He has to explain he, all that. All the while, he still has to actually do his like real job. Yeah, and the thing and is, it's is all building up. Thomas Middleditch is like covering for him. There's yeah. still all this equipment, and and the fun would be, oh, this house of cards comes crumbling down, and every single lie he had to tell. I mean. Oddly enough, this film is more structured like a comedy of manners, like almost like um, uh, the Birdcage of all things. Yeah, it's and like, it's like okay, that's it, it's yeah. the payoff. We do all the setup, and then instead of there being you know gust of wind and knocking the house of cards all down, you literally get they one just, line that explains everything away. And yeah, it, instead you just take the cards apart and you put them back into the deck in perfect order, as if the Ra as Whatever. if the deck had never been <laughs> shuffled in the yeah. first place. So it's like, okay. Okay. And and the, uh, to be completely honest, I don't ever really feel like Keanu Reeves' character ever really went through anything. It's like, oh, really my family died. Two and a half weeks later, hey, everything's pretty okay. This is like the, the worst version of something like Upgrade. Yeah. Like, Upgrade yeah. took the idea of, like, consciousness and, like, transhumanism and took it to a really cool place, and it had a, you know, Great both ending. a cool and a, like, thoughtful ending. Yeah. And this was just kind of like, Everything kind hey, of works out. Uh, it's, here's some heartstrings. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, going to be he and his family look back and they're like, remember when we were dead? Yeah. That was crazy. I, I don't, like, I don't know. It, I feel like we've basically spoiler already gone into full spoiler territory. 
It's in the trailer, but, so... Like, <laughs> well, the, the weird thing <laughs> is the trailer gives away everything with the last five minutes of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough... It, that is... Uh, I don't man. know if that's true. Uh, I is, know it is true. They're, no, they're, not, specific, they're not showing, remember, like, Hyanna's no, Reeves fucking scenes. genius cut. Uh, well, okay, like the, they the don't. Pain need... that he does to get to that point. Okay, they don't need to show that, but the the results yeah. are still there. Is what I'm getting at, and that. So that's the other thing is, I also think this film suffers from uh, the passengers problem, where it front loads all of the conflict. We see him work through all the problems, and then the problems get fixed, and then he's having to deal with this other batch of problems of telling his family like oh you're actually like dead but you're not dead blah 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 whereas it would have been much more interesting if we had started in the middle and then the wife comes up to Keanu Reeves and is like okay what the shit man and then we go yeah, back especially because the biggest part of them being like the the biggest potential problem of them being brought back to life is like casually glossed over like the entire movie yeah and then just like immediately rectified at the end of the movie yeah i mean, I mean one of like, the things is that like the, one of the kids is eating and he like kind of misses his mouth or whatever and it's like them just not brought up ever again the only other issue is that they're kind of, is that they have some nightmares and I it's like feel, well i kind of feel like this is a movie for people that are like hardcore science fiction fans i because do not i, I, I someone, really like, disagree it's not well this. okay so it's kind of somewhere between like techno babble and hardcore science fiction it, it, like it definitely has like the whole like hexagon and triangle tessellations graphics everywhere but uh if you understand some of the neuroscience behind it looking at um for instance, when you're talking about the guy, the the child with the spoon, that could very easily be explained just that the motor cortex functions aren't there. Well, yet. I mean, oh, okay, actually, actually, the movie, right though. there, that's the thing: is the film is not interested in either the hard science fiction of this. It is all techno babble. It's not interested in the hard science fiction of this, nor is it interested in really exploring what is the soul, what is consciousness, what who is real, who is not. It kind of just like what drops the lines at the start of the movie, just because like yeah. almost like it feels like it has to. Hey, remember every time we remember everything, every movie or every TV show you've ever watched about transferring consciousness? Let's just have a throwaway line about the soul. Like honestly, and like a weird argument with his wife at the start of the movie that just felt like that, it's if super it didn't awkward. get resolved. Yeah. It never got resolved. And the thing is, is uh, oddly enough, like the sixth day goes more into what is what is cloning and transferring consciousness. With the really great bit after the uh, after one of the henchmen gets rolled over, he's like, "Oh, I'm having I'm having trouble breathing." It's like, "No, don't worry, you're remembering being killed, but your chest is just fine." It's like, "Oh, that's kind of cool. I like I that." I mean, I feel like Happy Death well, Day went kinda, more into actually, the consequences yeah. of like dying. Well, that's yeah. the point that I was gonna make is that yeah, there is a lot of techno babble in this, but it leaves you to fill in a lot of the blanks yourself. Well, that's but that's the leaving, problem. That's not my job. It's, it's that's the movie's you, the job. Is well, that's why I said hardcore in. science fiction fans but hard, might no, enjoy this because they can fill in those. I know like because you've like seen this a million times. Yeah, it's been done a million times. This is the skeleton. If this is the first movie you've ever seen in your life, maybe it would be interesting. But yeah, it's been done. The, so many different facets of this movie, transferring consciousness into, like, you know, like I mean, machine we just, consciousness. We've been talking about human, this whole time. Human consciousness. Yeah. Like altered carbon, even, is like, does this yeah. concept, like, so much better. I, I think this like is the... bicentennial man does this yeah. better. Yeah, this is the skeleton for which you can hang that framework yeah. on. Yes, but the movie is not interested it, in that. It feels like it wants to yeah. show you montages of him putting it together, and then he want, and then the movie wants to show you that everything's going to end up okay. And it doesn't do the it doesn't do the okay. Let's talk about consciousness and human experience. It doesn't do that well. It doesn't do the action movie stuff particularly well, and it doesn't do the hard science fiction very well. So you're left with a very hollow film that is an incredibly lackluster experience with which you can only laugh at because of how hilarious We're it is unintentionally. We're literally laughing at how ridiculous the movie was. The whole time. The entire time. Um, it, but, I mean... <laughs> the music, the, the lines, yeah. the... This, like, the... It, I, so how the movie, cheap it was shot. There was that weird zoom near the beginning, and I'm like, what the fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, there's, there's so much weird stuff where it's like, this is, like, the... 
this movie felt like an intro to like five different kinds of like sci-fi, like transhumanist kind of movies. And it wasn't Bush interested shows. in actually it, delving it, it into didn't any resolve of those. a single one of them. No, it does, but it resolves it free of conflict. Yeah, I guess I I mean I guess it does. Like it has an ending. Yeah. It very much tells you what happens to Keanu Reeves. It tells you what happens to like Everyone. the antagonist. Yeah. You know how where everybody in this movie ends up. All three. But Verizon characters. guy. Verizon the guy has oh, a well, consequence. You know what? <laughs> I walk into into any experience going, you know what? I would punch Thomas Middle Ditches and I'm steal sure his lunch money. I'm sure at the end of the movie, he was so, just off frame in like a fucking orangutan body or Probably. Shit, you know? He's like, I'm ripped, man. He's just a fucking he's monkey. Just a monkey creating Basically. monkey clones. Yeah, and <laughs> hell, that actually would have been interesting. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the uh, this film's only real saving grace is that it isn't a complete drag. It didn't feel like a two and a half hour film. It felt a little long, but... I mean, at the end of the day, if that's my greatest, if that's the most I can say for it, then you know what? Don't even bother. I'm, I'm a big, I'm a huge Keanu Reeves fan. I'm like, hey, he did this to help someone out. I feel like we'll see this on Netflix, but you know, I like said that about that lot, Holmes yeah. and Watson. <laughs> yeah, Netflix passed on Holmes and Watson. Yeah, Jeez. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I feel like this is somewhere between. Uh, Transcendence in the Martian. I mean, I, in regards to like, I guess, the but hard I would, science fiction. I would much rather watch either one of those. Transcendence sucks in every way, but it's shot really well. Yeah. And the Martian is just a really good movie. Yeah, overall. Um, but yeah, this is totally worth skipping. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is still out. Just go watch that. I mean, go Aquaman's watch the favorite. Still out too. Aquaman. Yeah. Flip a coin if you like DC go, or Marvel. And go Red Venom. You'll have a better time with Venom. A better time with Venom. Um, So yeah, next week, I keep forgetting what comes out next week. And every time uh, I remember, I'm like, oh. Uh, Glass. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Glass. Glass, okay. And I will have some things to say about that because I didn't, I never reviewed Split. Man, do I have things to say about Split. So you'll hear about them during Glass. I know those words because I've heard those words several times. Well, we went out to eat right after I watched that movie and I'm like, Man, words. So, uh, be ready for that, I guess. This has been a great trailer for our review of Glass next week. For a very long-winded opinion on Glass. Yeah, I got got things to say. Anyway, this film, skip it. Eh, Skip it, it's whatever. It it is the most January of January releases. Hell, Escape Room is more fun than this. But uh, anyway... Next week is Glass. Until then, please uh, uh, like this video. Uh, you can comment below this time. Yeah, I don't care if you do or not. I mean, it's it's not worth commenting about. Just shit uh, post. Just shit post. Shit fuck post it. All through the uh, so, but please do like uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you can watch the Glass review when that pops up next week. YouTube.com slash Glass Films has. Uh, Facebook.com slash Glass House Films. And where I'm most active, Twitter at Glass House Films. We will see you next week for M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong's Glass. Bye.